available anymore. The one I'll link in the description is the 4001. I really don't think there's much difference between them. Uh, besides, I, I think that this hose that connects the unit to the gun is a little longer on the newer one. Um, so I think that's the only difference. Just really quick, over 2000 PSI, 1.76 gallons per minute. Um, so it's, it's pretty powerful. You have settings down here. Uh, hopefully that's showing up all right. So you got stop, this is basically off. And then you have low pressure. Um, I'm not sure what you'd want to use that for, but it's there and then high pressure, which is where I'm always using it. And then the second knob here is for your soap. So when you're using the soap nozzle, um, soap will come out of the dispenser, which I'll show you in a second. And you can turn this up. I pretty much always just keep it on max whenever I'm doing the soap part of my car. And here's the soap reservoir down here. You can put soap in there. Um, I use the Chemical Guys Honeydew, and that's what's in there now. I don't dilute it, I just put it in there straight. And that's been working really well for me. Right here is where you attach your hose. You can see mine looks a little rusty. <laughs> I have uh, well water, so it's kind of annoying when I'm washing my car, but it works fine. So if we look at the back here, you can see a pretty long power cord. Uh, that gets wrapped around these arms here. I do still use an extension cord for it, um, but depending on where you're plugging in, it may be long enough for you. It does have um, reset and test buttons. Of course, this will get tripped if it gets wet, which makes sense on a pressure washer. And then this is the high pressure hose that connects the unit to the gun here. If we take a look at just the gun here, it's pretty lightweight. It's easy to wash an entire car holding this one-handed. You connect your high pressure hose right here and then the high pressure hose goes to the unit. Uh, here's your trigger, nothing too special. You do have this stop here, so I will put this in place when I'm changing nozzles because I don't want to blast my hand off <laughs> with all the pressure, um, but that's just a little safety feature there. And if we look at this end here, this is where you attach your nozzles. You just pull back right there and the nozzles will come flying off. Um, and then at this point, it's ready for a different nozzle. All right, and just quickly to show you the different nozzles that come with the pressure washer from left to right, we have the soap nozzle, which obviously is just for putting soap onto a car or whatever you want to wash. 40 degree nozzle, uh, and as you go to the right, 25, 15, and zero, you have more pressure in each of those. So I'll use the 25 degree to blast dirt off the car initially, and then for my final rinse, I use the 40. And then when I wash the sensors, uh, any of the cameras or the ultrasonics on the car, I just am careful not to get too close with either of these. Uh, I don't want to put too much pressure on those uh, delicate sensors on the car and, and possibly ruin one of them. Uh, Tesla does also recommend against using uh, pressure washers directly on the cameras. And then the 15 and the zero are more for getting um, dirt, like caked on dirt off of hard surfaces. They say the zero can get tar even off of um, surfaces for you. All right, so I've set up the pressure washer here. Uh, you can see I have the hose water coming in the front right there. And then I've connected the gun right here with the high pressure hose that comes with it uh, down there. Right here is where it connects. And then on the front, I just have the 40 degree nozzle right there. When you're setting the machine up, it's best practice to attach your hose first to the front, hook up your high pressure gun. If the gun's not hooked up and you turn the water on, it'll just come squirting out of the back. Uh, and then after you connect both of those, you wanna turn the water on. Then you wanna plug the machine in, which I have plugged in in the garage over there. And then after you turn the water on from the hose, you can come here and turn the machine on. So I already have it on. Let's see if I turn it off here, turn it on. Yeah, so it's, it's already pressured up. When you first turn it on after attaching the hose, it'll run for just a second to move water through the system and build up pressure. And then the pump is done and it's ready to use. So right now the machine's on, it doesn't make any noise. So here, if I just grab the gun really quick, you can see that it is on, it's ready to use. And then while it's running, it makes that noise and that's the only time. So whenever you set the gun down for a second, it's uh, completely silent, which is really nice. Adding soap to the machine is really simple. Here's what I'm using. That'll be in the description. Uh, it's really nice, I like it. Works well for me. To add it to the pressure washer, you just lift up here and pour it in. So here's inside the soap chamber. You can see that's the tube that picks the soap up. All right, so I got the Yi going on here. I'm just gonna wash this tire. Um, I'll show you. I don't really have time to wash the whole car, so that'll look goofy, but that's all right. So right now I'm on, oops, 
Uh, right now, hold on one second. Sorry, I'm managing two cameras here. So right now I'm on the 40 degree angle one. No soap's gonna come out. So all you gotta do is pull back on that part and then this is loose. And then we can come over here and we can grab soap dispenser. And sorry, again, managing both cameras. And then you just push that on, that's all. Um, and then we go to the machine here and I just crank the soap all the way to max. Seems to work well for me. And then it takes a second for the soap to get through the lines. Uh, but then, so now that the soap nozzle is on, uh, this piece is actually loose. You can, I, I don't want to rotate it because it's going to change the Yi angle, but you can twist this to whatever angle you want. So you don't have to put it on on the right angle. So then when I want to wash the car off, So you can see, you can see the soap coming out. It's a pretty uh, gentle mist that just sprays the soap all over. All right, I can just wash this area. Man, that stuff smells so good. I'll just wash this area to show you. So then I'm gonna switch nozzles. I'll get that later. <laughs> um, so, when I'm first getting the dirt off after the initial soap, I use the 25 degree angle. And then to blast the dirt away and wash the soap. Again, when I get to the autopilot cameras or any of the sensors, the ultrasonics, anything like that, I just don't get too close. Um, so I stay back. But for any other parts of the car, I'll get closer if I need to get the dirt off. You do also want to turn that back to minimum. I, I'm not sure any soap comes out with the other nozzles. I don't know how it would really manage that, but it doesn't seem like soap really comes out um, if you're not on the soap nozzle. So that looks pretty good. It looks uh, nice and new. It only took a second for that. That area okay so we're in the garage here um, you can see since we live on dirt roads you get a lot of mud in here so you can see it's kind of caked onto the floor there uh, but I put the highest pressure uh, nozzle on so let's just see So it can be a little tedious, um, but it does do a really good job of getting all this caked on dirt uh, removed from the floor. So again, that's the zero degree angle. Uh, we can try a slightly wider angle, give us a little more surface area that's hitting at a time, but it won't have as much pressure. We'll see how it does.
Okay, so we went from zero to 15 degrees. Let's find another spot here. Yeah, so that still works fine actually, so that would work well. Probably better, you'd, you'd finish a lot faster with that attachment. So I totally forgot to do the summary to this video, and now it's nighttime, so I'm doing it in the garage. <laughs> but um, you don't need to look at me anyway, you can look at some footage here. So this is after I wash the car. So I use the wash nozzle first, and then I blast all the dirt off, and then I take a mitt, and uh, I just take a little bit of the honeydew soap in a bucket, mix it up and wash the whole car off with the mitt, and then I rinse the car off again with the pressure washer. Uh, and then in this, what you're looking at now, actually it was waxed as well, so it looks really good. But overall, the pressure washer is really nice. I haven't had any negatives with it. The pressure is more than enough for anything I've used it for. I haven't used it for a ton. I mostly use it to wash the cars, so I have the obviously the, the Tesla and then uh, an Equinox. So it works well for the SUV as well. It's not a huge SUV, but it's definitely bigger than my car, uh, and I don't have any problems washing that as well. Uh, I haven't used it on the house. There's We don't have anything to wash on the house, but I have used it to blast dirt off the cement and all that. So the pressure washer is really nice. I like it. It's convenient that it's electric. Normally the drawback of electric is that the pressure is not enough, but I haven't experienced that at all. And now I have the convenience of I don't need to go get gas to fill it up. And usually, you know, another one of the drawbacks of an electric appliance like that is it's plugged in. And then you have the cord that you have to deal with, but on this, it's hooked up to the hose anyway, so you're going to have a hose, um, so that's not really a disadvantage at all. Um, sometimes the hose and the um, plug will get tangled, but I've only noticed that when I'm done with what I'm doing and I'm cleaning up, trying to put everything away. So overall, uh, I really like it. I have links in the description. They're my Amazon affiliate links if you want to buy it. Uh, it's down there. I'll put the soap I use as well that I've really enjoyed on my car It does have wax in it. So if you want a soap that doesn't have wax don't get that one But yeah, like I said, this is a different video for me So let me know give me some feedback you guys have been awesome with uh, the comments and everything I really like uh, going back and forth. I do respond to all the comments I like talking with you guys So if you liked this review or you think I left things out, let me know I'd like to do more kind of tech stuff in the future um, 